Okay, so now we're actually going to a desert. Welcome from a nap. I feel that. <laughs> How are things over out where, uh, where you're at, by the way? I know I asked that yesterday, but that could change at any day. And Uncle Byron is in my party uh, now. I was a young man when last I walked this path. Whiff. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. All right. What can Uncle Byron do to fight? Riddler of the Sands. I know it said Riddle. I was, I was trying to be funny. Riddle me this, Clive. Unable to save it this time. Get the fuck out of here. What? Uh-oh. Everything good so far from what I've seen? Was, uh, Our destination lies over that dune. Yeah, I hope, hoping it stays like that too, dude. Welcome well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose Wait, one's bearings something. in the sands. Why am I running? Fly, Ambrosia. Go, Chocobo, go! Oh my god, Uncle Byron's Chocobo is so much faster. When you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget it's how It's funny Elwin that we say that when I'm riding the same chocobo. The sand, bawling like a babe. Yo, bug. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, horsey. Who do you think those soldiers were? So. Thank God we found this chocobo. Thank God. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? There we go. What is it, boy? What is it, boy? Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from stone here. Our Luda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. <laughs> Go play with the chocobos, buddy. Oh my god. Clive with his hood up looks so fucking edgy. I love it. I really, you know, the combat director is the same dude from DMC. Why the hell do I not have a taunt that puts my hood up? Why not in this game, huh? clothing in the desert oh yeah for sure good day to you and i don't Eating? even have like a water casting spell either <laughs> sorry about my pal he only talks when his mouth's full what do you recommend well if you're after something light we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey two bowls of that then 
and want you to show off your good look. You know? Hey, go. That's fair. Coming. Hey, hey, yo. What? Yo, pal. What? Didn't you rather be my squire? Your pal. Don't be a dick, dude. I was literally getting my order taken. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh Grace, shit! Joshua's here it is too. Plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take oh you to my God. to attend to your ills. No, we must press. Oh my on. God! What if they actually meet each other Prince here? Prince has returned Holy to his shit. camp and will soon depart for the front. Well, Bacon, it's going pretty well, and I hope I it's going well for you too. At all costs. Oh Miss my God. this chance, and I may never get another. You do understand that. Yes, ah! but you must at least agree to take your medicine. Yes, you're crazy, but you have to you take your water. medicine. Well, I don't want to take my Fred Flintstone vitamins. Oh my God, she's gonna walk downstairs. She's gonna see Clive and just be like, nope. <laughs> gonna happen well these guys are gonna be a bunch of dicks I'm, I'm telling you what keep watch they tell us but all I see is sand I hear they got our guest back to the fang without any trouble we'll be leaving soon enough why the Lord commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin I'll never know dominant or not he's a bloody idiot That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> you fucking idiot! Uncle! Let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Oh my god, Uncle! Oh my god, you dumbass. Uncle? Pal? Sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. And she sees him. We gotta go, Joshua. We gotta go. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Controller almost fell. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. They're all they're all walking away. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour. They're, they're all just gradually leaving. Friend. What the fuck are you doing? I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. <laughs> Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Oh, he's not even gonna fight in my party? Oh my god, wow. I see how it is. All right, let me hit him with the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Try it. 
Oh, hold on. I forgot how to play the game for a second. Hello there. Oh, I fucked up. Hold on. Hello there. Let me hit him with, uh... It's you. <laughs> he's like, he's like, it's you. The dominant fire. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, everyone cleared the room because they knew I was gonna hit him with the good old super stinger. Hit him with the good old yeah. That's my nephew. You're in trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. <laughs> that soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> okay. She was like, I've seen that stinger somewhere before. Now's our chance. Jesus Christ! Your Grace? Joshua. I'm fine. Coughing up blood and possessions equals fine. Yeah, no, Joshua just has not been doing well at all this entire time. Aw, uh, Clive's hungry. Clive? Oh my god. Bruh, he was just he was just there, dude. You know what this is this is like a fucking rom com right here. Where they're like just barely missing each other. Then by the end of the game, they're gonna have like a Dante and Virgil moment where they come together to beat the final boss, and then they're what gonna say not? jackpot and it's gonna be great. I'm telling you right now. Also, I love how both of Clive's companions like wear blue to contrast his red. Torgal. <laughs> Joshua. Now he needs like a portable chair. Like, he needs, like, one of those portable chairs that he can just, like, just take from his backpack and just sit. Yeah, he knows. Bro, Clive, just use your fucking, like, stinger abilities and just go all the way around well, the town. We didn't know where to find also, I have to pee really badly. I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, we are back. Cup cover four. Let's keep going. We do now. The royalists said to themselves, "Their guest is in the fang." We should press on before any more of them. Ah, shit. Look at that one guy up front. He's uh, like, "Yeah." Close the road, and it's the only way from here to the fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. Also, we have to get through that gate. I just kind of realized this. Not by force. What the fuck is Byron going to do? We've attracted quite enough unwanted once we find attention him. already. I dial, I do not believe in Perhaps his fighting abilities at all aid. right now. Rosina he literally Galadale, stepped aside while Clive handled of all of those people in the bar. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. I'm gonna walk Looks up like to those guys and be like... Hey. The gate! is closed by order of Lord Kupka. Any attempt to gain passage to Drake's Fang will be punished with arrest and incarceration. I will fuck you up, boy. <laughs> he literally has that, that fucking pose. Just, just just, let me hit him with a stinger real fast. That's Anything just all I, I need. Anything I you in? Ooh, platinum sword that I don't need. Driss is writing log for the... Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't need none of this stuff. Let me actually sell um cuz I have a couple of these. Six of those. Anything else I can take off oh, your hands? This can be traded for gill. Pleasure trading traded for with gill. you. Traded for gill. Traded for gill. Anything else I can take off your hands? Go okay. with Gilbert. I gotta talk to two townspeople. Wait, what? Okay, there you are. I take for Gilbert's sake. You're a hey. Bear, aunt. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region. <laughs> this guy's like, are you serious, dude? Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of... Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. Well, can't say that I do. Good job, Uncle. Hello there. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? She's gonna be like, oh, yes, I do. Oh, all? never mind. One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you said. Thank you. I doubt this young now, where sprig that be? is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. I don't, unfortunately, Uncle. I don't. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. Where's it? We're going. There we go. Mummy, I want to play with the crystal. Can I help you? No. Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask Ferda. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. Uncle Byron! The old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. 
Why are you talking like that, dude? Well, it sounds like we have our map. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Excuse me, are you Ferda? This I is am. Roxas, actually. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hair? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Thank you. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he... So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Oh. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit him with the... Oh, new enemies approach, bet. One, two, three. I forgot how to play the game for a second. One, two. This is this is, I've been playing this game for like four days and my muscle memory is still fucking with me. I keep holding R1 for lock on instead of um Who instead of L1. For? Him or her. Oh my god. Uh, fucking DMC muscle he, memory. Him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Just Your immediately the hits them with the super stinger, and he's like, you know, talent you're all right. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. To the lock of leisure. Yeah, I want to take a look at something real fast. So first of all, let me save real quick. Um, where are you? Just because I'm, I'm just want to see something. of those options that's like i think that's like the biggest thing that's kind of holding me back is not being able to just put things specifically where i want them because i think like with all of this time of like cutscenes and stuff like immediately going into battle again is like oh wait holy shit Who right i need forge, to the bride's kiss figure out stuff like if you tell me to dodge, I will so like immediately press circle. Sprig, after all. Or if you tell me to press so lock on, I'll immediately Dalamil press um, woman of R1. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. 
After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Him? <laughs> Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Yeah. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. <laughs> Just look at this guy. Uh, tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. And he don't trust me. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. <laughs> and so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. <laughs> Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... Byron, chill out. <laughs> So, I got this. What do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. Mm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. He does we have a bit of well swagger to him, him doesn't he? It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet, even then, I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But <laughs> enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. What? Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. And what trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you <laughs> call me? Graveyard. My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy <laughs> oh for God, you. Oh my God, this asshole. Okay. Ah, it will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need. <sighs> All right. Follow the spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. All right. So, wow, motion blur was heavy on that one. A deposit? For what? Information. So let's talk to three random you have people. A moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Hmm. Well. You know, I'm not a fan of this sword that Clive has. Wow. 
Why is the tavern shut? Uh, no reason. So I guess we do have to just wander around until we find Let a bunch of people. Let me treat to you. To. I'm pretty flush these days. Shit, I can't jump over this. So it was over. Fresh oh, one to go flat. Warm from the oven. Yeah. Okay. Have a taste. You wouldn't believe how much. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve be the, men off of the, with you. the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Okay. Plates and pots! Bowls and basins! No thanks. Silver platter! So I imagine if I keep going this way, there might be another person to talk to. Mommy, I want to pair with the crystal. Oh no, it's all the way back there. Take a sniff, good sir. You know what's crazy? Like, I feel like I haven't really seen any of the frame drops until, like, this play, like, this stream, this playthrough. But now they're, like, Excuse way me. more noticeable, I feel. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thee, pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder okay. if Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Yeah, so where is he? What was all that crashing and banging about before? Hello, serving girl. It's you. Don't, don't look at me chair. like that. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? He's upstairs. Oh Thank boy. You. Also, it was not my fault that those guys were being assholes. Is it upstairs? Here? No. Oh. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be What are you doing, dude? With, should you give me reason to do so? All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Is he gonna try to fuck over that other guy? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic... Oh, whoops. ...indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. 
They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A second-rate specimen? A small price specimen. to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just Creeping. goes to show. Why don't you Popinjay. never underestimate a Rosfield? We'll soon wipe that. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy. Far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support. All right, we're going to be going all the way up <laughs> Of course. So we have to go this way. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Also, why is it not showing the destination of the main quest anymore? Do we have to... hold on. I think we have to prioritize it, maybe. Oh, that's why. Because I had too many side quests. Let's go, Chocobo! Also, while I'm at it, I may as well. I needed that. All right. <laughs> Take it from here. Oh my god, Byron, what are you what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver He's and gonna get stones jumped. I could scrape together at such short notice. You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see... Byron's the gonna get... He's gonna get jumped. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not... Bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? If you could do one because thing in real life that you always wanted to do, what would it be? You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Uh-oh. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a um, port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Honestly, like, the only Why, thing that I can really think of, of is... Drake Fang's blessing, of course. 
Maybe travel to Japan. And so they are entitled to a portion That's of something the that I want to do eventually. Bounty. And being at some point friend, in this lifetime, I would like to, go to, to Japan increase one time. that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Elude, we are duty bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! <laughs> My lord, lord what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! Kill them! Kill them both! Alright, here we go. Run! Two, three, four! Two, three, four! Oh my god. What the fuck is Byron doing? He just ran straight into a wall. Oh, they're casting care. Hold up. Who's the one casting fear? It's that guy. Yeah, he's backing away because he's the mage. There's another one. He's over here. I thought I killed him. New enemies approaching? Bad. Skydiving. Skydiving was something I was originally gonna say, but I feel like I could see myself. It. W I think it would be more inconvenient for me to go to Japan than it would be to find a skydiving place. Well, that wasn't too bad. That's skydiving like is more of like a uh, fear thing, I'm whereas a Japan thing is more of like stage. a find the time to I do it thing. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? <laughs> Great, bird. You are magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Where he ran into a fucking wall. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's You're over. scared of heights? Everyone Indeed is scared is. of heights. The it just depends on how high you go. any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Sure. Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Sid. Clive. That too. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, 
You held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades, and those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. <laughs> is I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Oh, that's another seal. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubo. And please, feel free to send one of my Stolases back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Okay. All right. Oh, I just realized we got a uh, Sid's oh, owl too. To his Achilles. Flybird. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Here I am, once again. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. May my dad meet the game, keep talking, all. and nobody explodes. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Come on, Uncle. Oh, welcome back, Phoenix. Let's go. I have so much money now. Oh my god, I just realized. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have been using the fucking, um... The experience accessory. I completely forgot that I got that last time. Shit. Where, where is it? It's like all the way, it's like over... Where the fuck are you? Yeah. It's this. I completely forgot about I completely forgot that I had this. Is it true what I'm hearing? My carpets have bright and light and dark to a silken soft. Also, let's go over here for talking to a quick side quest real fast. All those years of toil Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps <laughs> no, you're just what thought. I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's sword. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I... Sure. One, leave them. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very... Hot water. It seems like you are in some hot water already, buddy. So many ah, side quests. They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. We should get going soon. What do you want? Do you have water? Directions? Either take this road to the Fang. Ah, I'm not too late. Are you coming with me? What is it, Lubor? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. 
Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tolmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks <laughs> of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't, isn't there always? <laughs> isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. I do not. My plan is just square and X at the same time, and then holding R2 and hitting triangle. Chocobo! Hello. Ready, go. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go around. Although, what's over here? Can I actually go down here? No, I can't. Bro, what is this music? I want to go over here first just to see what's over here. we go. Let's cool things down a bit. Let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling. Okay, well that takes care of that. Now, where is Come my on. trusty steed? Run like the wind. Oh, trusty steed, hold on, there's a there's a thing down here, trusty steed. Um, hold on. Stay no, 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 don't disappear. I literally needed to dismount for like one second, girl. Come here. There we go. The 
jaw. There it is, Drake's Fang. Kuku will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert. Yeah, I'm surprised it's you'll just need us to two. keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to. Oh, apologize. so he's not coming with me. That's for the best. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin. Like the coward I am. But that leaves you standing today. There was nothing you could have done, dude. And I'm sorry. There's nothing you could have done. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however. No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. Equality. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Yo, I just realized that over Not time, like, Clive has gotten more scars around his face. But by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. Fight for what you believe in. You really in. are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Uncle. <sighs> and thank God well, you're then, not coming with me because you will ways. absolutely Wish die. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> I don't know why, too, Torval. but something... Something makes me feel like something's gonna happen to Byron. There was, that that speech was a little too long and emotional for something not to happen to I'm him. I'm coming for you, Kuka. Like Titan is gonna like spring out in his giant form and like pick up Byron from his pocket and like squish him like an ant. I don't know. So I just I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling like something like that's gonna happen.
All right. Oh, look at that. Look at his look at look at his metal hands. <laughs> he can't pick up the silverware. <laughs> What an asshole. I'll kill you, Rossville. This I'll is the person who saved me. Or I'll saved him, actually. Limb from limb. Peace, Hugo. The table Lord Commander of the Royal longer. Knights. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You truly believe you would have triumphed and the battle continued? This is this is who it is. Him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Oh! Right. You, you mock me, Harbert. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. And smelly. <sighs> But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Yeah, he just has to actually release his Tell uh me. icon. What must I do? He's like, yo, 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 I don't want any of that, buddy. Tell me. First, we attack his heart. A Mother Crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But a dominant. But then, you are no ordinary man, are Robert, you? Why are you stroking his hair like that, dude? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Imagine if Titan spawns, like but just without two Benedicta hands. Harman. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. Harvard's playing him. Um, there's something up with that guy. Muthos is here. Very well. It shall be so. Ah, oh, shit. You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Okay. Knock, knock. It's quiet. Too quiet. What is it, boy?
the fuck? Orcs. I'm sorry, what? Into the darkness. Are the beast then part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? Hit him with the. They spotted us. With me too. Hello there. that they were going to be a way more intimidating enemy, but I guess not. Also, I feel like it would have been optional to skip that fight, but like, they're it, just like, you know, basic ass enemy, so. Jump canceled out of that weight.
Alright, yeah, I assumed we had to go up there. Okay. Sir. Anything back here? Probably not. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting about that. Supposed to go in there, but there's something over here. Ah, well, I think I needed the health, anyways. Uh, stairs. This must be the way out. Clive is like, oh my god, so many stairs. stairs. He wants to find whoever invented the stairs and push him down those stairs just to show them how stupid stairs are. Oh, hey, big guy. Oh, boy. I won't be sneaking past this one. Oh, God. Get in here. That wasn't an actual boss, though. It was just a big enemy. Oh, we aren't supposed to go through those doors. We are supposed to go through those doors. I was just being dumb. Okay! And then just beyond those flames. gates is where he is. Come on, Togo. Bruh, this this area does look pretty nice though. He's he's living in quite a mansion. It's like a mansion Could within a mansion. Do by halves. As if taking the mother crystal for his own wasn't enough. Oh, I, ha I actually have the ability to sprint in this. Ah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Let the trial begin. This is where we get a boss fight. We 
we go the undertaker just got undertaken dude get out of here punk you call that a trial is like god damn expected. he passed good shit that's so this basically the, the exact expression thoughts. that i just described the god damn he really passed huh good shit good 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 shit dude good shit Kind of hoping that I get a sprint. Some opponents will use a bravery to invigorate nearby, enhancing their performance in battle. Alright. Hey, Spectre, how about you, uh, fuck off with that shit? Yeah! Uh -oh. 
even took was like, grr. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that was just a potion. Never mind. I thought Torgo was healing me, but he didn't. First orcs, now these nightmares. Is this your doing, Ultima? Nope, not this way. Wait, what? I got tricked again. <laughs> I went I went to the wrong door twice. Okay, hold on a minute. The, the, wait, what? That's Yeah, Torgo, please tell me where I'm supposed to Oh, I'm dumb. There's a big giant door over here. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I'm a big giant dumb door. Been busy, Kupka. He's like, damn, how did he break that table with and no where arms? Where did you go? Clive, I dare you to just take a nap in his bed. Just like lay down there and wait for him and see what happens. Clive, Clive didn't listen to me. The heart. He's in the sanctuary. What? I can feel it. But come on, Toggle. Can't I just... Oh, whatever. Is there a chest in here? There is a chest in here! Stealth mission. Yeah, stealth mission. Metal Gear Rising style. Alright, we're gonna be dealing with another batch of enemies. Any minute now. Yeah, there you are. Just Alright, let me hit him with the. Uh, Four. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, new batch of enemies. Let me hit him with the. Uh... God damn. Alright, Toggle, you want to launch him real fast? There we go. Better be the last of them. This game is so fucking good. Anatuxa, 
My everything. Jeez, it took I, Hugo all I this time to just someone. walk that distance. Coca! I was about to say, she's fucking naked, I isn't she? <laughs> oh, Hugo. Get your mind out of the gutter. Again. What's wrong with him? Just fucking chop. Who cares what's wrong with him? Chop his head off, Clive. What are you waiting for? He's right there. Dumbass. You. Get away from her. Benedict. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, what the fuck am I looking at right now? <laughs> it was me, Hugo! standing over there too like well I don't want to fuck with this guy come on Clive concentrate we've done this before you can do it again let the flames burn within you the flames of vengeance burn without come to me Goddamn Roxas again. So this is the first time he summoned Ifrit in like five years. Oh shit. <laughs> Ifrit's like, oh. Titan battle, let's go. Oh god! Holy shit! Oh my god, Titan is a big I was right! <laughs> I was right, Titan spawned without hands! That's mad funny.
that theme again. Yeah, fuck you, buddy! Okay, Brimstone. So Clive, okay. Holds, right trigger. Okay. And then I can do that to cancel. Ifrit is invulnerable to damage while charging. Suffering an attack, however, will automatically trigger the explosion. Let's give this a try. Oh 
alive is he free? What the hell is he done? Oh my god. Hey, Clive is like, what the hell? I'm sorry, what? playing right now dude <laughs> what the fuck am i playing what the fuck is this gun grave ass music <laughs> actually you know what no 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 this is metal gear rising this is when uh out this is when raiden is like running down the building it isn't final Fan it is now danny <laughs> This is my Final Fantasy 16. This is so rad, I love it. I have literally done no damage to this thing yet. Oh god. I instinctively pressed the dot button just in case. Ifrit just did a goddamn gainer! Are you kidding me?! What the fuck am I playing right now? I'm just pressing buttons. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons in the hopes that I just don't die.
damage in this phase, I think. No, I cannot. is this music? Oh god.
he's like, God damn it, I just grew that arm back, man! Oh god. Aerial. 
What the fuck am I playing? Titan, that son of a bitch. That big giant motherfucker. He is dead. Or at least slain. No, he looks dead. I'm sorry, what? Did he just conjure a flame sword? Am I watching the goddamn Flash right now? Oh God. Damn it! I don't feel so good! Oh my God. Hugo is dead dead. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, fucking Roxas. Have you seen the- I still have not seen The Flash yet, no. Although, I have seen quite a fair bit of spoilers on, uh, on TikTok and YouTube and whatnot. Where's that? Da, 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 that da, da, da. That's in- that's in the game. What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power Damn, remains Damn, Ultima, back at it again. With every sip you take, you grow in strength, and soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Nuthos. It is inevitable. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! <laughs> okay. Yo, stop, stop, stop looking at me, stop looking at me like that, bud. Consciousness. We see now. Human will is so insubstantial it cannot exist in isolation. You mitigate its weakness by interweaving it with your consciousness. Manly voice gone. Here comes the crying and pain voice. Like I said, Clive has such a good range. It appears we first have to sever every It goes from Batman to young Bruce Wayne real quick. No matter. 
The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. Phoenix feathers burning. I'm telling you, Clive and Joshua okay. are not going to Joshua. see each other until the end of the game. It's going to be like the end, end of the game, final boss, teaming up Dante and Virgil style. I'm telling you right now, that's what it is. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can oh my god that fucking boss was amazing i had thought hugo wiser than this but it seems his head was full of rocks after <laughs> his head was full of rocks get the fuck out of here titan was strong your majesty but mythos is stronger I thought that was Clive for a second. For five I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought that was Clive for a second. And I was like, what the fuck kind of a plot twist is that? Even as it swept him into But no, Barnaba, Barnabas looks very similar to Clive now. I fucking spat on my One monitor again. one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Barnabas is also wearing blue. That's like, yeah. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal so here's the thing so that i'm wondering beautiful. if like like all the dominants are like you know it seeming like kind of like beneath like these guys how the fuck are they gonna stand a chance against me holy order of the knight's dragoon some medicine my lord Oh, it's that same, excuse me, that same girl from earlier. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Damn, asshole. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great so a cost. So he does have Bahamut. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them... That's hope. so fucking messed up, dude. It is so fucked up that Bahamut is, like, on, like, the enemy... It's, like, on the enemy team. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas... I will always be your loyal servant. Yeah, it's too bad I'm gonna have to kill this guy.
Should the council's brazen maneuver <laughs> we win it, yeah, Ifrit is ready. Tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault. Dude, Ifrit taking on fucking Bahamut though is going to be crazy. The Ios, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> there is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. There's a small girl it? who's soliciting in front of our, <laughs> in front of our camp. <laughs> she must be dealt with immediately. Yeah, he's the son of the a-hole. He's not even a king, he's an emperor. But yeah, he's a he's a prince. Olivier has been made emperor. You're fucking joshing me. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and- Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. Yeah, you know, you, you can't be fucking doing Bahamut dirty like that because he is going what to is nuke now? him. He's gonna nuke the palace. Forgive the intrusion, your I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, da, 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 da. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. What are you doing here, dude? You just waltzed in! How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. Yeah, it was revealed that Joshua alive. was alive. I think right after we beat, uh, Garuda. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Oh, do I have a story for you, buddy? Cuts to black. <laughs> it, comes, it cuts to black, it comes back, and they're just like the, the in-game graphics. Return to the hideaway. Aye, aye, Cap'n. Also, just thinking about this, can you imagine if Byron actually fucking showed up <laughs> in the fight with, like, Titan and Ifrit? <laughs> can you just imagine that? Like, Uncle Byron is fucking, like, standing up. <laughs> like, he sees fucking Ifrit come out, and he's, like, you know, tiny compared to Ifrit, then fucking Titan comes up. It just, like, takes Byron and just goes... What the f what the fuck kind of a video game did we just play? Oh my god, dude. Fuck. <laughs> right. So... That's amazing. That was probably... The best boss fight so far. And that truly felt like a final boss. But we are still going. <laughs> We're still going. Fuck, that was amazing. Um, I, yeah. Good, Hugo's dead. That was, 
yeah, I, I don't have anything else to say besides that boss fight with Titan and Hugo was amazing. Nothing short of, like, 10 out of 10 material. And I saw that Danny said, like, when am I gonna, uh, gonna no potions, no damage this? The best thing about this is that I have the opportunity to go back and do that in, like, the arcade modes. Because they're they're basically just missions, like they're they're just missions that you can play through. So I have the ability to no damage it, and I think, um, according to Michael Scarn, who we were rating yesterday, like you can get like a I think it's a Medal of Valor is what it's called if you no damage a mission or no damage a boss like that. So, so I think the thing that I'm gonna really enjoy though is not necessarily going back and playing through like the whole story again, which I probably will but being able to just select specific missions and then you can turn cutscenes on and off and stuff like that. You can just play them like actual missions. I fucking love that shit, you know? Um, so that's gonna be where I'm gonna cut this today. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This has been an amazing playthrough so far and this was a good climactic finish for, for this part. Um, what are your thoughts on the game? If you have your hands on it right now, or if you're just watching, comment below. Let me know what those thoughts are, what your favorite parts are, and where you're currently at in your Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. And as always, if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check out all the other playlists from my other playlists on my YouTube channel. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I will see you next time.